Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4. So, in the last episode, we made it here into this factory and waste disposal plant, quote unquote, but it's a factory. And, uh, it's not exactly a fun place to be because there are a lot of exploding robots. But, I'm kind of into killing these exploding robots, so, like that. Whenever we kill them, they explode. It's kind of unfortunate, but that guy missed, so, no one cares. Um... You are gonna get hit by, or you're not gonna get hit at all. That's fine. Ah, that's not good. And bombs on you. Wow! Apparently, these guys can actually be stunned. I'm actually surprised. What a bunch of losers! And that's the end of that battle. One thing we haven't done in a very long time is upgrade anyone's skills. The Thunder Core Gun. May stun targets, boost the power of thunder skills, may cast blue bolt with certain skills, counterattacks with plasma shot. What skill did I just... I guess I just upgraded this one, right? And that guy's been eviscerated. Wow. Okay. We're gonna try out this one. As well as, you know, the tank. I was about to say, we were just going to have Matt finish that one so we could attack with... Okay, never mind. Uh, just make me a liar. Make a liar out of me all the time, so what I care. Wow. I'm just getting really lucky, aren't I? Oh, plastic, a futuristic material with many applications from soft clothes to solid armor. That's a new thing. We got hand bombs, gunpowder, and seven segment display out of that chest. Nice start to this battle. Wow, and we didn't get hit by a single one of them since we killed them at the end of the battle, and they don't come down to hit you if it's at the end of the battle. Or the end of that wave, at least. We got ham, pineapple, and microcontrollers. Um... I thought so. Red LEDs and glass from that secret. I remember these guys. Who are these shady characters? These guys are the ones I made a mistake on in the third game and didn't scan one of the variants. There's Sword Slinger, Wandering Robot, which is non elemental sword attacks. And Gunslinger, Wandering Robot, which uses bomb and thunder attacks, has low accuracy but high power. The reason I made this mistake is because I thought they were the same and didn't scan one of them. So I get to the end of the game and I'm like, why didn't I get the medal? What's going on? It's because I'm dumb. It, it's just because I'm dumb. So they're not weak to thunder. Uh, it's. Well, I mean, it's the only hittable skill that she has, so I'm still gonna do it. It also has that chance to stun, which is incredibly nice. How do they fit all those weapons in there? Sniper cannon, watch out! All these stuns, though, for free. And prepare to die. 
I just realized the text in the background right there said, help me. Broken hearted. What? Would it be weird if I hit on that green haired girl since Natalie already has, hates my guts? She's way younger than you, it would be awkward. I think Natalie would hate you less if you stopped staring at her nonstop. That's not a fair criticism. I'm very subtle about it. I've got hidden cameras on my clothes so that I don't even have to look in her direction. That's what I mean. Okay. Iron Cross increases bomb and stagger resistance. Iron Core and Micro Controller. My boss wanted a progress report on the prepare, so I sent him a core dump instead. Now his inbox is full and he can't reply to me. Huh. <laughs> on a serious note, though, lots of enemies here are weak against thunder and bomb attacks, so I put some skill points in there if you want to survive. He says that as we're next to somebody who isn't weak to thunder attacks at all. Um. You first. I guess I'll focus you and miss, of course. The problem is that some of the enemies absorb electricity for some reason. prepare to dodge. Wow, you're dodging absolutely everything, aren't you? Okay, try a fire blast. And you're dead. Right, forgot there was a second wave. Probably should have healed. And I'm sure it'll be fine if they would all stop focusing the healer. dead. I almost killed my healer. I really need to upgrade her heal more if I want to survive these situations. That one's dead. Eh, I can use Thunderstorm now, so why not? And a single target bomb would actually be fine. Alright, nothing new, but still cool stuff. Goodbye. Okay. Natalie, your heal more skill wherever it is is there we go it's gonna cost 1500 but it, you know it'll heal more so that's important I can also upgrade this it'll deal one quarter more damage now Storm. And try out my new upgraded tank gun. Battles are kind of really easy once you get the skills up. They do decent damage though. Pink Potion, a high quality perfume made from rare flowers, plastic, and glass. Alright. Barrels of green goo, I'm sure that's safe. <laughs> Definitely. Right? 
Hey, there's another battery over there, but I think we'll have to find a different path to get there. Yeah, let's just keep moving on for now. Nice. An amazing start. Ah, uh, that's not good. Um, focus you. Heal up with this. And hit you all. Ah, great. Okay. Let's scan. Big Sludge Slime, level 17, a huge version of the Sludge Slime, it uses poison and dark attacks, health, has low evade, it's weak to fire, electricity, bombs, light, it is absorbing poison and darkness, and immune to earth, while being resistant to water. A huge amount of status, thanks. Um, I mean, if, I, I just need to hit them all, right? Do it. End that immediately. Use two limit breaks on the battle. I do not care. That looks like a death machine that I should have saved my limit breaks for, but I'm sure it's fine. I've been stationed here to protect the internet. It's in that box behind me. Don't touch it. Well, it's smaller than I thought it would be. Are you sure that's the whole internet? That isn't the internet at all. The internet is a series of connect interconnected tubes. <laughs> I was joking. That's actually just a box. But as long as my supervisor doesn't find out, I don't have to do any work. I mean, sure. Apparently I'm seen. Which is probably a good thing, because otherwise I'd get no views. Wait, I don't get any views. Fuck! I wonder how many channels those dishes can pick up. I would not know. Scanbot, go! Dish turrets. Level 18 is a turret that is designed to interfere with other systems. It uses thunder attacks and may stun, siphon, spell players. So, uh. They're weak to bombs of electricity, water, and earth. So. Uh. Electricity, you say? Bombs, you say? Did I just really get two of my people stunned? It's trying to disrupt our magic field and stop us from using spells. Okay, I've been siphoned, which is a very bad thing. Um... Here, use some garlic. How does it feel about fire? It is actually resistant to fire. It is not resistant to earth. It is weak to earth. Which means it's dead. It needs a res. Heal some more and get to bombing. Or not really bombing, but shooting with a tank. Oh no, I was dispelled. Whatever will I do? Thunderstorm? Who cares? Yeah, 
and dead. So we got blank CDs, might even be a DVD, it's hard to tell. Plastic, red LEDs, and steel plates. Too easy. We got a steel key, use this to remove a single steel block from the map. Steel plate and lollipop. Okay, I really need to heal up, so I'm going to let that go for a moment. Actually, I'll just start exploring while it's healing up. And we're back outside already? I don't think we're finished in here. I think we should go and get that first battery we used now that we've opened a new entrance into the factory. That's actually smart. Thank you, Fleshling. Management will be informed of your great help. The path is clear, and now Rob F9 may proceed with his maintenance objectives. You may have the scrap metal. Good for me. Alright. Battery, you say? Steel key, you say? So, we got the Ultra Zapper. Drains MP from targets with certain skills. May cast Solar Flare with certain skills. Cool. Pretty awesome. Stand back, I figured this out. To open all the doors, we just have to smash all these computers. As a technology enthusiast, I agree. This is the correct approach to troubleshooting any type of hardware. So those are computers. I've never seen any before. It looks like you guys know what you're doing, so I'll stay out of the way. Keep it up. My sword is stuck. How can this happen? I don't think you have a brain. I don't think any of you have brains. Um... I guess I'll focus you. Thunderstorm. I don't care that I'm healing them because I'm not focusing them. Two of us got siphoned. I'll move him to backup. And shoot you with this arrow. Very dead. Wow. Like I said, very dead. Wow. Alright, so no one misses out on this experience. Lance, takes the coffee. And kill the enemy. Really? Couldn't even kill the enemy for us? No legs had to do the job? Lance, you're useless. Everyone leveled up, though. Alright, let's kill this giant slime. Are these guys weak to electricity? They are. I mean... Uh, I'll let them take their turns first. This is why I let them take their turns first. Everyone here is affected by electricity, so we just keep on doing this. Wow, that was effective. And dead, I think? Yup. Way too easy. Alright. This mech looks a bit more threatening than the others.
Thunderstorm. Tank guns. And done. I hope we have some coffee left. Okay, time to scan you. Res you. And I guess try to heal you up. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, it's not actually worth doing that. I'm gonna use Oblivion. I guess Natalie's flap doesn't offer great defense after all. Wow. Freaking rude. Defender, a robotic sentry tasked with defending its position. Uses powerful bomb and fire attacks. It is weak to electricity and bombs equally. It's resistant to wind, earth, and immune to poison. I mean, sure. Coffee? Thunderbolt. If it's just attacking one of us at a time, this is fine. You remember when I opened my mouth? You remember when I opened my mouth and nothing came out but stupid? Every time? Okay, um... Pineapple! Incoming! Well, that did almost nothing. So I guess it's about time we kill it, right? Yep, it's dead. <laughs> okay, 7400 experience, nice. I just realized I never got the stuff. The diamond pin replaces weapon stats effect with stagger. Glass, plastic, and spacesuit armor randomly cast scan bot between turns. I mean, that'd be useful in an area where I haven't scanned anything, so I may want to. No, I won't actually do that. There's no reason to. That's silly, and I like it. Well, now we can see why this place stinks so bad. A whole pool of toxic waste? Blech. They should just dump all this into the ocean. We don't all be better off. No one likes seagulls anyway. I mean, it's true, no one likes seagulls, but that's not a good idea, Matt. Don't do that. Nice start to this battle. Thunderstorm. And I guess tank guns. Uh, I'll let Lance go first. Tank guns. Yep, and that's why I let Lance go first. Really? I really just got slimed. Oops, I forgot about that. There we go, now Lance is back to normal. And I'm gonna have Natalie heal this turn. And, I mean, I guess I'll kill this thing. dead. This 
So, sadly, you're not going to be a lot of help here. Wind, to deal with, like, 600 damage. Yay. This an ugly one. I'd open my mouth to that. <laughs> That's a really bad situation for me. Um, coffee. Cause I'm coffee. Let's try to kill more of them so they don't damage us as much. I'm missing way too much. Considering I've been giving him the accuracy things, I've been missing, missing way too much. Thunderstorm. And he's dead. Okay, I guess I will scan bot. This is the toxic squid. Level 18, a giant squid which lives in toxic waste and uses dark and poison attacks. It can greatly lower the, par the party's accuracy. It is weak to thunder, ice, earth, and light. It absorbs darkness, water, and poison. It's resistant to wind. And fire. Um... So I'm going to want to focus with electricity right here. I guess I'll use chips. I'm going to have to go on a diet if I eat too much. care either way about bombs, and I don't have any... I mean, I have this, but it's not very good. And might as well use it. Pro tip, you can make plasma by microwave and fire, but don't try that at home. Whoa, it suddenly got a lot darker around here. And it's dead. Gunpowder, hand bombs, biovirus, microcontroller, stringy, springy spring, red LED, glass, seaweed, tentacles, and steel plates. Nice. We need a ladder if we want to get across that, sadly. That's quite a lot of security there. The boss is probably locked up in the room up ahead. So we're almost done with this area, actually. Some doors require a hell of a lot of power to open. There are a total of five batteries in the factory. You're going to need them all. Only plug them in when you really need to open the door. Otherwise, keep them with you. Ah, uh, might as well attack. Uh, no. I recognize that. That's bad. <laughs> that one in the middle is the gun that was on Lance's tank at the end of Epic Battle Fantasy 2. That's a very bad thing. Um... Okay, thunderstorm. And bombastic. Okay, dispel, that's fine and all. I need to kill these things as fast as possible. I'm focusing on healing right now. That was a mistake, it would appear. I think Lance had a heart attack from all those energy drinks.
try and decide what to use because it's all rare stuff and I don't want to have to use it, but if I want to survive this, I need to. Summon with her scan bot. Laser turret, level 19. A turret designed to obliterate intruders. Uses powerful non elemental attacks. Weak to bomb electricity and water and earth. Uh, it's immune to both wind and poison. Use Thunderbolt though. Should be fine. Done. Honeycombs, beer and garlic. Um, new enemy type that is surely strong against electricity. The yellow jellyfish, level 18, a jellyfish which uses thunder attacks and can charge up magic. It absorbs all thunder attacks and is resistant to bombs. Great. It's weak to poison though, and the person I used to scan was my poison user. And it's also weak to ice. So I guess I'll use ice? Cool. Okay. That's fortunate for me. Toxic squid, get it. Um... Thunderstorm. And I guess I'll focus with bombs on this guy. That guy is dead. There we go. Some help, you know, to prevent that healing. I missed. Great. So close. Switch over to Natalie as I heal more. And I kill it. Done. Got some good stuff. Sadly, all of these are required. This one isn't required, but I need to do it to get the treasure. So for me, it's required. damage 
and luckily this battle was not difficult. Unlike the past few where there have been a lot of strong enemies, this one just had a couple weak ones. We got the Debilitate skill, debuffs all foes' defense. We got some seaweed and some uh, uh, bio stuff that I'm forgetting the name of because I, sk well, I didn't even bother reading it. Oh, uh, a lot of familiar enemies. Okay, um, does she have a hit all skill for poison? She does not. Tank guns, because why not? And... I don't know. Uh, they are weak to anything that I have. Ice? Ice. Cool. Not only do frozen enemies not attack, but they're also open for devastating damage. So... I mean, I'll just summon again. I don't mind wasting that much SP. Winter is coming. I don't know winter is, what winter is coming is, but... Green Jelly, level 18, a jellyfish which uses only poison attacks. It's weak to fire, electricity, ice, and poison? Why is it weak to poison? What? <laughs> I guess they're all weak to poison, so it's just keeping up with the theme, but that seems dumb. That's dumb. Like, it's really dumb. Okay, does he have anything? He has something. Literally, air, air support. Drop some meds, please. I figured something like that would happen. I was actually worried that it would kill if I were to try to attack, so. Jungle flower. A rare flower with an extraordinary scent. I need that for a quest, so that's good. Sushi. Silver plate, not quite gold, but still pretty valuable. And pink potions. I'm going to check out my skills. Give me a moment. Okay. Um, new enemy type. I mean, I guess I'll use Lance to scan it, because let's be fair, Lance isn't the best person in this area. Blue Jelly, level 18, a jellyfish which uses only water attacks and may target other foes as well. Okay, it is weak to ice and poison electricity. Um, I guess poison, you say? Ice, you say? Poison, you say? <laughs> Let's kill them all before they become a problem. I... I should probably start giving him something that can buff people. Finally, something that Lance can actually help with. Lance, why do you miss so much? You're supposed to be the sniper.
Level 20, metal earned. Nice. Okay, I... So which way do you think we should go now? I agree, let's do that. I was asking question. Never mind. Um... I guess we'll head down here and hit the switch. Alright, get this battery, not the switch. Steel key, coffee, chips... I guess that treasure chest is accessible now. Let's grab that treasure chest, because I'm really not sure what opened this. Staff. Tribal. May stun targets. Boost the power of thunder skills. May cast thunderbolt with certain skills. Magma sample and concrete. I guess we'll take on this one as the final battle of the episode. And that one's very dead. Oh right, that's not the one I was thinking of. Uh, sure it's fine. Grab me, you pervert! Yuck! Uh, they're all immune to that kind of thing, so... What I meant to do was use thunder. And I'll target you. Thunderstorm to kill one and weaken the other. Not gonna lie, I kinda love that thunderbolt arrow thing. Whatever it's called, I'm I don't remember the name. Flare, lightning badge, increases thunder and stun resistance, honeycomb and pineapple. Nice. I work for the Department of Clean and Renewable Energy. I have just completed a feasible study of this area. In fact, it is in fact not worthwhile to install a wind farm within this facility, as there is no wind indoors. I thought wind farms created the wind, though. That's why there's always a lot of wind near them. That's why computers need small windmills to cool them. You may be on something. I think you'd make a great engineer someday. I don't think that's science, but alright. Also, I remember just as I did this that I said that was the last battle, but this is the- I totally meant this was the last battle, guys. You have no idea what I was planning. I totally tricked you or something. I don't know. Um... Boom. Ow. Okay, I'll summon with you. These are lightning sprites, a creature which embodies the spear of thunder. They use thunder attacks, of course. They absorb thunder, of course. They're weak to earth, poison, and darkness. So, ice on you. And bombs on you. Dead. I win. Tentacle and solid water. Done. 
So that'll be the last battle for this episode. So I'm gonna real quick check which metal, metals, medals I've gotten. We reached level 20, getting well into the game now. And there was another one that I got. I just don't know where it is. Oh, I never showed this last time. Unknown power level. Find an unscannable secret foe. Very secret on the main path. Uh, I'm going to figure out where the other one was. Oh, okay, here we go. Winter is coming. Freeze a foe and then hit them again for massive damage. I apparently hadn't done this yet. I guess not. I guess I hadn't frozen many enemies. Oh, well. So, guys... Next time, I want to play Epic Battle Fantasy 4. I think we're going to finish up next episode. This seems like the end of there. We just need to get the last like couple batteries and then head and fight the boss. So, assuming I'm not a total screw-up or I don't get distracted, we'll finish next episode. So, guys, I'll see you then.